Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, VB. I hope you're having a lovely day. Guys, I hope you are feeling the look as much as I am because I'm feeling it, you know? Um, but today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I got this look using a Patricia by Rich in Color palette again. I've accidentally got makeup on it. Yeah, using this palette again. And I'm also gonna be talking about pet peeves of mine, like things that really piss me off. So I'm gonna take all of this off and I'll see you in three, two, one. So I've prepped my face and I've primed my eyelids and now it's time for me to go back into the Patricia Bright palette. And I'm gonna go into Reckless instantly because that's the color that has got me excited, got me shaking in my boots and whatnot. So I'm gonna go in at the top with Ocean Deep. No, is that gonna be too dark? Yeah, I'm going to go in at the top with Ocean Deep, guys. Like, that's it. I made up my mind. So today, after I got out of the shower, I stepped one foot on my bath mat and realised I forgot my sliders in my room. And it just made me feel like, what the fuck? Like, I really don't like walking on my house floor barefoot anymore now that I've got sliders. And that was when I decided that in this video, I'm going to talk about top things that piss me off. So let's start with number one. Number one is what I just said. When you get out of the shower with your feet all wet and you realize you left your slippers slash sliders in your room or somewhere else. And it's like, but what am I gonna do now? Like, and it's cold as well, it's winter, so like no one even wants to do barefoot. Like, nah. Number two, another thing that pisses me off is when people don't listen to me. And not in the, oh, I'm lecturing you, listen to me. No, I hate when people like engage in a conversation with you and don't listen to your response. Like, that really grinds my gears, guys. It grinds my fucking gears. Like, I mean, I like it. I don't like it at all. So I'm going to quickly do a cut crease because I think I know what I want to do. I think I want to have a transition of like from pink to this dark purple. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now I'm done with the cut crease. I want to start off with pillow talk and then move all the way to fruit punch. And I'm also gonna bitch about the third thing that pisses me off. Third thing that pisses me off is when people talk over me when I'm about to speak. Like, there's one thing when you don't listen, but another thing is when you actually speak of me when I'm talking. Like, I know certain people, it's a bad habit. Like, I've got a friend that legit talks over me when we speak, but I'm used to it. It don't mean I like it, but I'm used to it. And yeah, so I kind of like brush that off my shoulder, like don't get offended by it. But I do think it's just so fucking rude. Like I used to do it myself. And then, um, I don't know, I think I started noticing it with my sister. Like when my sister would talk and I will cut it off and then I will just notice it in my head. Like, yo, you have to let people speak, Vanessa. Like, not only you can speak wisdom, like sometimes give Sarah a chance. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, <laughs> that's another thing that pisses me off. And as I'm talking to you now, I just remembered another thing that really gets on my nerves. And that's like, although I'm black and I know the stereotype about black people always being late, but I do not like being late. Like, I don't like being late. I'm going into fruit punch now, guys, okay. So I don't like being late. I hate when I'm meeting friends. If my friend's still watching my videos, she's gonna know exactly this moment and she's gonna know that I'm talking about her right now. I remember one day I was meeting my friend, this was years ago, but she was going through a hard time that time, this moment, and I wanted to meet up with her just to cheer up, you know, like, you know, as a friend, you want to cheer up your friend, and you're like, let's meet up, let's meet up. When I tell you, she got me waiting for nearly an hour because she was all, like, heartbroken about her situation and she was, like, in pieces at home, and I was just like, but bitch, you still could have just told me like, yo, I don't think I can come out or, do you know what I mean? Like, why did you have me waiting outside all this time? Yo, yo, guys, I was so pissed. Like, I hate waiting. My other friend knows there's only one time that I've made, no, no, there's a couple times I made people wait, actually, I'm not gonna lie. Um, sometimes it's lack of communication, I'm not gonna lie, it's my fault sometimes. But I rarely make people wait, you know, like, I don't like that shit, guys. Like, if you really wanna know, wanna piss me off, if you really want to piss me off, set up a date with me and come late. Oh my gosh. And then you're just going to see a whole different side to me. A whole different side. Like, I'm not even here to hear what you have to say. Like, I'm going to sit there and just be like, mm, uh, yeah, mm, whatever. Whatever. I think that pisses me off. Have you ever wanted to be alone? Like, when you just want to chill on your ones, yeah? And then that's when someone comes into your room or someone just comes and starts talking about their life. 
or like you got like you're dealing with like a headache or something and then someone just keeps talking about their life and it's like my friend like right now i don't know if i'm between earth and heaven and you're telling me about a problem that really is so trivial right now compared to the pain I'm in. Like, don't you hate when you're in pain and someone is chatting shit? It grinds my gears. Like, I be just sitting there nearly crying, about to come bust in your face. And, um, y'all are telling me about a fucking sandwich that didn't taste the same. Like, get out of here. What else pisses me off? Oh, another thing that grinds my gears that happened to me today is when I finally got a day off. Like, like a day off, day off. And, um some reason that's when a family member or a friend or someone fair enough this is my fault too but that's when someone wants to now call me at nine to ask me if I'm coming over and it's like but can I can a bitch wake up first can a bitch wake up I'm a light sleeper so like I don't play in my sleep because it's like so jarring now like, if you're a light sleeper let me hear a hell yeah I'm joking no. if you are a light sleeper you wouldn't understand like the problems that you face like it's very annoying when you try to have some sleep and it's like people just disturb it and it's not even their fault they're trying as hard as they can to be quiet but it's not working like i can hear your footsteps sir i can hear your heavy feet madam i'm hungry oh i actually like this guys you know when you just fucked up a look that's another thing i hate oh that's oh another thing i hate i don't know if anyone else goes through this you know when that like, you have to go out oh my gosh i do this so much when you have an important place to actually go to and you need to look good especially if you've got a youtube channel that is all about makeup and my life yeah and you know you need to look good and then for some reason your makeup that day is looking higgy hagger like it's not making sense you know you've just let down your whole community aka just yourself and it's just like fuck like you put so much pressure on yourself to just perform well because you're gonna be around people that know you have a channel sometimes and you're just like oh my gosh why do i look like shit and then people be like you look good and it's like no i don't like i can really do better than this guys please don't judge me on this performance do you know what i mean like you can be really hard on yourself when you know you could do better and that is really like when it comes out to my makeup looks that is me all over like whenever i try too hard that's when it never goes well another thing i hate and it's not really about myself but it's more about pisces i'm a pisces and one thing i hate about um most Pisces, because I'm not going to speak for all of us, I don't know about every Pisces in the world, but one thing I hate about most Pisces is we're very sensitive, like we're loving but very sensitive, and I hate sometimes when like, I'm not in the mood to joke, but you're joking with me, and you like call me stupid, and it's like, that hurt my feelings in that moment, like yeah, you may have called me stupid as a joke, like, eight, six times that week, but on the seventh day, I may be like, no, I'm not stupid, and like, Whenever I feel like I shared my opinion and the person's had to apologise, I now feel bad because it's like, V, maybe I took it too far. Like, oh, that's one thing I hate about Pisces, man. Like, honestly, we can't help it. We feel bad for correcting you, which is the best thing to do so we don't get offended. Oh, do you know what else I can't stand, actually? And I wanted to make this a whole separate video, but I'm going to say it now. Do you know what else I can't stand? When, I don't know, if anyone here watching that's religious, please tell me if you've gone through this, but when you tell someone that you believe in God or something, and then they start like, the person who's a non-believer that you told is like, oh, but how can you justify that God is real, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, bro, I, I'm telling you I believe in God. I'm not telling you that you should follow what I'm saying or do what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I don't know. That's another thing that pisses me off. When you tell people, that you go to church or you're religious or you're in the choir or whatever and then if you sing a Cardi B track they'll be like oh church girl singing Cardi B yeah I'm singing Cardi B what what else you gonna say do you know what I mean like I hate when people are more judgmental and they have no faith like how dare you like I'm not saying you should be judgmental when you have a faith or anything but what I'm trying to say is if you don't believe in God and I tell you I believe in God why does that make you angry like why do you now need to challenge me when I haven't challenged you and said why don't you think there's a God how dare you not I don't I don't do that so I find it very strange that people do that I hope this is looking okay to be honest I wish I didn't do a cut crease like that I should have just blended all the way out and it would have looked so pretty but I live and I learn. Do you know one thing? Do you know one thing I also noticed um, from my week off is um, the more time you have to yourself, the more you're going to think about bullshit. 
Like, and you can legit get depressed. Like, I don't know how some people do it because let me tell you this for free. Well, the more I sit down and just chill, the more I think about everything. And when I start thinking about everything, it's gonna be a problem, guys. Like, it's gonna be a problem, like depression problem. Like, I don't know why this morning, for some reason, I woke up, I was in a good mood, and then um, I got invited to a, a house party, and then I started thinking about all the people that's gonna be at this house party, and I was thinking, hmm, I do wanna go and support my friend and everything. And then I just started to think of certain things in my life. It just trickled down to things in my life and things that I've not achieved yet. And I was like, to myself, this time last week I was really happy. And it's like, what makes you really happy? That's what I started thinking. Like, what makes you really, this is why I shouldn't be left alone, guys, because God damn, I'll be going crazy. So, um, and then I started thinking, what really makes people happy? Like, because when we're happy, we're happy what? Because of the thing that's happened or the thing we've achieved or because our, like, emotions are just on a happy, positive note. Because at the same time, when I'm happy sometimes, I am quick to think, I wonder what's gonna fuck this good mood up. So it's like, sometimes I'm like, what sustains happiness? Is it your peace of mind or is, is it an object or thing that's given to you that sustains happiness? Think about it and give me an answer because I'm confused which one, which one keeps happiness lasting longer than the other. Like, I'm really confused. Voila! And here's the look for today. Guys, I am, like, if I haven't said it before, I'm gonna say it now. Like, get this mother-sucking palette, yeah? Get this palette. Guys, get this palette. Get this palette. Get this palette. Get this palette. And again, get this palette. Like... Girls, if you are dark skin as well, this is showing up on us. Like, Patricia, <laughs> hello, I might start watching your channel and stuff, watching your videos, because I don't really know about you. I've seen you a couple times, but I don't really know about you. But now, honey, we like these. We like these. But yeah, guys, here's the look for today. I've added my eyelashes. I tried to get extra with the highlighting shit. I tried to get cute with my highlighter, but I don't know if you can see it, but I did too much, I think. I don't think I have anything else to get off my chest in terms of things that piss me off, but I will share it with you once I remember anything else. Um, but here's the look. I finally got to do something a little bit more fun. Um, but I do think I killed it. Like, I think the look would have been nice without the shimmer thing at the top. But, and I think the lipstick is not perfect for the look today, but I digress. So guys, tell me what you think about this look. And again, like I said, this palette is doing bits, y'all. Like, get this palette if you want to do crazy looks and have fun. Like, she's got two in her collection, but I think this palette is actually better, to be honest. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you like my video. Please subscribe, comment down below, follow my Instagram page, follow the blog with my sister share. Guys, share this channel with your friends, with your cousins, with your brothers and sisters, even with your exes, because I did that. I was like, yo, we may not be fucking, but we still cool out here. Support your sis, you know what I mean? Like, so guys, please, please spread the word that VB is coming to take over, okay? And I will see you in my next video. Guys, I also want to shout out my friend as well. Like, she will soon, hopefully, fingers crossed, come to do my makeup one of these days. Um, but her channel is Hugaboo7. Obviously, she's been out here in the YouTube streets a lot longer than me, but guys, please support her. Show her channel some love and everything. And I will see you in my next video, please. Let me know what you think about this look, because I killed it. Okay.